Hey everyone, BG Owl here, and we're back with another episode um, for our Hunter 350 from Royal Enfield. And this time, we're putting a cool little tail bag on here from Givy. So let's get to work because this is Pinche Al's Garage. All right, so before we start, we always got to give a big thanks to our sponsor, Hitchcock Motorcycles, for providing us the product that we're looking for from the other side of the pond. Uh, they actually from the United Kingdom, one of the best suppliers out there for your Royal Enfield. Pretty much from stock parts, aftermarket, bags, mirrors. I mean, there's so much stuff you can get for these bikes and that's directly from their website and extremely fast shipping from DHL as well. So without further ado, let's get back to work. So on this bag, this is the Givy bag and this bag is the EA. 132B tail bag and with the belt system. So um, one thing that I learned about um, these universal bags, they don't have like a clip strap. Pretty much you gotta like route them and then pull on them and strap to them and then they got these little bands to just hold it in place. So first thing you need to do is unbolt your seat. Okay. Then put your strap underneath. like this okay so you got one or two ways of doing this um, you got that little notch right here at the bottom you can try to number one put the strap uh, before it so right over here not after uh, so we're gonna try that first because we want to see where we line up um, the bag because this is you don't get much strap you see here and you're literally just putting these straps on to hold it in place uh, it's not really gonna tie it down I would probably invest in maybe some universal clips or something that has more of like a, 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 a tension strap but for right now we're gonna be doing it this way so put the set the bag where you want it now this is kind of a hoop system so you want to go over Under. And back over. And that will pull on the strap and give you some locking tension. Now keep in mind you can do it this way. Okay. Um, you can also go forward. Under. And backwards like this. Okay. And the nice thing about this, if you do it this way, you can put the strap on this side like that. So you have it right there where the tension is at. Um, if you got enough slack, I would probably try to hoop it one more time within itself. Um, the reason for this, for I mean, uh, the way I like to do it this way, um, it's just another preventative measure to so hopefully that strap will hold itself down. Um, probably maybe invest in maybe uh, like if you found a spot how you want it, uh, probably sew it by hand and clip it in place. That way you don't have a weight of this coming apart. So if the bag does get loose and wants to fall off, it's really going to be held by a couple little stitches. Again, if you're not planning on removing the bag, and like worried about losing or anything like that, this is just a good option. It's just preventative measure. So we're gonna do this side. We're gonna repeat on the other side. Same thing. I like again, I like feeding it through the front because it gives me a better visual on how much strap is actually left. Like that. And then try to do your best to get an even amount of strap on each side. Yeah. 
Now what you want to do is kind of center your bag where you want to have it and then you kind of want to pull on these straps. And give it all that you've got. Because your goal is to have a decent amount of tension on the bag so it doesn't give way. Then you can pull this bad boy back in here. And you can put it back up here if you want. Try to. Or maybe you can do this. Have to figure out a nice way to strap this in here. I'm not a big fan of how this thing sits inside of here. Just the way it looks is bugs me. But that right there, we're gonna repeat the process on the other side, the second strap, but it's on. It ain't going anywhere. So I ended up just doing it the same way I did the back. I was curious if I could do it a different way, but nothing kind of made sense if I did any other way that would hold the strap nice. So, oh, no. so this is kind of the problem you're going to fall into. So one thing I noticed is there's a spot right here. See this spot right here? If you can get your strap in here, it'll hold the bag in place. Now, other option is um, run the strap long ways down and under and strap it to the seat. But then, yet, then to remove it, um, you have to literally take the straps off every single time. It won't come off with the seat. So I'm gonna give it a try this way. Um, let's see how she holds for the weekend. If it doesn't hold the way I like it, I'm gonna go the other way and literally just strap it through the actual spike itself. Um, that when we take the seat back off. Tuck the straps underneath, tuck it in nice and clean, and then get some little Gibby bag installed. So I'll give you guys my full review of my little Gibby bag after I ride with it for a good week or two to see if I'm gonna keep it this way or if I'm gonna strap it to the actual chassis of the bike uh, to hold it in place. But from right now, this 11 quart, um, or 11 liter, sorry, 11 liter bag is perfect for what I need it for. It's perfect for uh, pretty much bringing a pair of pants, like a, not riding pants, but like a windbreaker pants, uh, water, my camera gear, batteries, just and another pair of gloves. Something 
for really quick road trips, uh, especially long ones when you need just quick accessories, maybe you throw your wallet and other stuff in here so it's not in your pants and annoying you. So all in this little bag. And then I got this cool little strap on top of here too to hold anything uh, smaller that you need to strap on here. Maybe a tripod or something else. Uh, like small, again, small gear here. I like it, uh, especially for the cost and the brand, Givy. It's one of the best brands out there for bags. Uh, you can't go wrong. I also have a Cortec bag I'm gonna be doing a review on as well. I am doing actually my, like, I think my four or five month, for a month review on it. But that's it. That's pretty much how you get it in there. Obviously I'm gonna clean these guys up, no big deal. But we'll give you a better um, end result review once I actually start using it and using it to its full potential. Uh, for my next few rides coming up this week. So thank you for tuning in to this episode of Pichal's Garage with our Givy bag on our Hunter 350 from Royal Enfield. And again, huge shout out to Hitchcock Motorcycles for sponsoring this video today as well. Don't forget to hit that, uh, to smash that like and subscribe button as always. Peace out and you guys have yourself a wonderful day.